Hey guys, Lou here from Jersey Shore Fabricators. Uh, listen, today uh, we're going to take a break from doing things and I want to talk to you about customer service. One of the things I've learned over the years is that customer service is key. Uh, whether you're working for yourself or you're going into someplace. The last thing you want is to you know, have a nasty customer service rep. You don't want to be treated like an alien. Uh, you know, you want to be treated like you're spending your good hard earned money. Case in point, today, uh, today's May 5th, Revenge of the 5th for the rest of you nerds out there. Uh, I've been geeking out the past two days uh, with all the Star Wars references. So uh, anyways, back to today. <clears throat> so today's May 5th and um, my big welder uh, broke down on me. I have to drop it off and get it repaired. Uh, I have a Snap-on MM350 XL. It's the big boy. It's 480 pounds. It'll weld a battleship. I absolutely love it. But it's not really made for small metal, for sheet metal. Now, some time ago, I had bought a little cheap Chicago Electric, you know where it came from, uh, welder, flux core. And, I mean, it's gotten me through some, some jobs in a pinch, but honestly, it's not, it's not what I need for sheet metal. So... <clears throat> I went to Eastwood. Now, I've been dealing with Eastwood since 1990, 1991. Uh, those of you who know me back then is when I had my little Monza, uh, my, little, my little Monza street race car that I had. Um, and I used a lot of their products on it. I have never heard of them before that. Uh, it was actually turned on to me by an ex-girlfriend's father. Um, uh, his name is Robert Kopeck. Uh, you know, he... He gave me a lot of the tutelage, along with my father, uh, but a lot of tutelage that I needed to do this kind of work and want to have an interest in this kind of work. <clears throat> I'm kind of getting off track here. So, I go to Eastwood, I find the welder that I'm looking for, and I find it on sale. Now, it's normally for $350. Um, <clears throat> it's a little 135 amp uh, MIG welder, takes gas. But I found it on sale for 200 bucks. So 200 bucks for a brand new welder that takes gas, that has all the controls that I want on it, versus 150 bucks for this piece of junk. Not really a, a, not really a hard choice to make there. Uh, their Pottstown facility is about two hours away from me, so uh, uh, me and my fiance jumped in a truck this morning and we drove in pouring rain all the way out there. Uh, when we got there, uh, the customer service people at the front counter, they, they were nice. And we met a guy, uh, Bob. And Bob is one of the lead sales reps over there. He's also the instructor for their welding classes. So I start talking to Bob about different welders. And we're in a room, and I'm looking around, and I said, isn't this where they do the filming, or they used to do the filming for, for, for your YouTube channel? And he said, no, 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 it's next door. So he takes us next door where they do the filming. This big studio, uh, it, it, it was just absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, I watched Kevin Tetz in there. I watched Ron Covell. Uh, the guys that they have now, uh, Matt and Ryan, uh, I've watched them do their thing in there. Um, they have a 64 Corvair they're working on. So Bob was showing us around the Corvair and that they're making every panel by hand using exclusively Eastwood tools. You know, it's, makes sense, it's Eastwood. Um, they have a Mustang in there that they painted outside. I have to go find that one. But if you haven't seen it, um, the name of the company is called Eastwood. Uh, they have their own YouTube channel, and there is a lot of great tech on there. There's a lot of great metal shaping, uh, metal bumping, uh, body prep, body work, all the way up to final paint. Um, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. All of that being said, I want to remind everybody, I do not have any sponsors. Eastwood does not send me any stuff for free. I jumped in my truck, I went out there, I gave him my credit card, and the most impressive thing I bought today was this nail brush. I love this nail brush. Got a little place to put your fingers, get your nails underneath there, two bucks. I'm not going to get that anyplace else. Um, I got a drop light, I got the welder, I got a quart of uh, their uh, chassis black paint. With tax, I was out the door for like 268 bucks, including the welder. You're not, you know, you, you can't find that anyplace else. Um, so, and I, and I use a lot of Eastwood products. I have a, 
you know, I use their bead roller, I use their paint products, I use their throatless shear, uh, I have their combination sander over here. Uh, I use the stuff that works. I've said this a hundred times on the channel. I use what I know works. I use what works for me. You may use something else, that's fine. I'm not here to judge you. Just letting you know what I do. Is this a plug for Eastwood? Yeah, maybe. You know what? I had a really good time today. I got to walk around in their studio. You know, I, I got to see Ryan as they were setting up to do, uh, I don't know if they were doing a Facebook Live or, or if they were uh, getting ready to do a product feature uh, that's going to be on their YouTube channel. Um, I was well, I have a shirt that says Welder Fabricator. Uh, uh, now, and the kind of person that could fix things uh, you didn't know were wrong in ways you can never understand. Uh, so he saw my shirt, he was reading it, and he kind of, you know, gave me a nice nod of acknowledgement. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. I really got to geek out over there. Uh, and with Bob, you know, talking about the their different welding products. Um, and he convinced me uh, to not buy a Miller, not buy a Lincoln, and not even buy an AHP, uh, but to buy their digital TIG 200, which I'm going to, not yet, but I'm I got to wait for the money, um, but I'm going to. Uh, he was explaining the features and the way it's built and where it's built. Very similar to what you find every place else. It's an offshore welder. It's an inverter-based technology. You know, it does everything that the other brand names do, but it's a whole lot less. So, you know, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, you know, they have a three-year warranty. They have a lifetime uh, customer satisfaction guarantee. Uh, I've never bought anything from them that I've had to send back. And I, I bought a lot of their tools over the years. Like I said, you know, I have the uh, little belt sanders and hammer and dolly set. And I have even the little anvil for doing uh, trim on a car. You know, the anvil's about this big. It's actually really cool. Um, so, why did I take you on this whole trip? Because it's about customer service. Um, with that kind of customer service, they have me as a customer, they're going to keep me as a customer. Would I have still bought the welder without all that stuff? Uh, pretty, yeah, I, I did. I, I mean, I drove two hours out there. I wasn't coming home without it. Is it people like Bob who go over the top to make sure that somebody is happy uh, that will keep people going back? Yeah, uh, absolutely. So whether you work for yourself um, let, me, let me rephrase that. If you work for yourself or you're working for somebody else and you face the public, all right, you know, customer service is key. It, it only takes a minute to smile. It only takes a minute to, to be nice to somebody. And it's going to have an effect on that person the rest of the day, the rest of the week, the rest of the year. Who knows? You know, I guess it depends on that person's disposition. I know what my experience over there today, I, I couldn't be happier. I, I was like a kid in Disneyland. I, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, running around, touching all the stuff, and uh, talking to the people, and uh, you know, getting some really good tech out of Bob too. Uh, you know, he was going over some of his techniques. As I said, he is the welding instructor over there. So, in closing, I guess what it really comes down to is being nice to people. Okay, you know, your customer service depend is is the lifeline of your business. Uh, Eastwood is a, is a result of that. You know, the, the way I treat my customers, look, it, it, it pays off. You know, I'm nice to everybody. I make friends with all my customers. Uh, you know, I have long time relationships with some of my customers. It, it's, it, it's absolutely wonderful. So to see a big corporation versus a little guy, but a big corporation who has employees that take the time to do that, you know, that, that's, that, that kind of that quality, that kind of customer service is priceless. I'm going to go ahead and get this welder unboxed because I've been dying to do this since I got back. Um, I'm not going to walk you through the whole setup. I'm not going to do a review on it. Um, there are, I got it, there must have been 15 other YouTube channels that posted the reviews on the MiG-135. All of them. All of them, great reviews. Um, so, you know, I, I, I'm sure that my experience is not going to be any different than that. But once I get everything set up and, you know, I start playing around with it, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to let you guys know how it does. Until we see you the next time, be nice to your customers. God bless. Peace.